in the last of this series of seven videos showing you how inexpensively you can eat here in Thailand. I'm going to be taking you to a place, it's another regular of mine, it's just around the corner from where we live and I do go there a lot. Um, the food they serve up there is really good, it's really simple and it's very very healthy. But before that, I just wanted to show you that, you know, Poop can cook, we don't always eat out, I'm joking, but more often than not, in the mornings, I'll have a really simple breakfast here at home, won't go anywhere, and I just wanted to show you the cost of that, because that really is a big, well, not a big part of our budget, but it is a regular part of our budget, so I thought I'd show you that as the first part of this video. After our morning jog, Pook and I call into the local 7-Eleven, to pick up a few bits and pieces that we need for this staple that is a regular breakfast of mine. Is up there? Okay. 85 baht. Okay. Thank you. Got it. It's today, but look pretty. Whole wheat. Is it whole wheat? Wholemeal bread. 42 baht. 42 baht. And, okay. and, and eggs. Egg. Oh. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah. 112. The mix size, though. Okay. Mix sizes? Yeah, three and four. Okay. Size. So this is my go-to breakfast most mornings of the week, scrambled egg on toast. I usually have three eggs on two slices of toast. And while I think about it, let me share a story with you. I'm sure that many of you will know the famous English filmmaker Michael Winner. I would think that his most famous piece of work was the um, Death Wish film starring Charles Bronson. Now, I was privy to a conversation going back a good few years now, and he was speaking to someone... And I don't know how the subject came up, but he started talking about cooking scrambled eggs. And he said, this is my secret way of doing it. And it actually helped win the heart of Jenny Seagrove. It was, I think it was his first wife. He said, the first night she stayed in the morning, I did her scrambled eggs like this, and it helped with me winning her over. He said it something like that anyway. So Michael Winner's way of cooking scrambled eggs. You beat the eggs up and just add a splash of milk and put lots of air into the eggs. And you don't use a deep pan like a lot of people do, you use a shallow frying pan. Put butter in the frying pan, get it really hot, pour the eggs in, but keep stirring straight away, otherwise it's gonna burn. And then that, don't let the eggs get, eggs get too dry. That's it, that's all there is to it. The air stays in there because they cook quickly, they're light, they're fluffy, and not too dry. Perfect, perfect scrambled eggs. Add a little butter to the toast, a touch of black pepper, and you're good to go. So breaking that down, three eggs come to about 11 baht, two slices of bread out of that loaf come to four baht. So all in all, adding a bit for butter, a little bit for gas, works out to approximately 19 baht for the scrambled egg on toast for breakfast. Just need to find out um, how much I owe Pook for cooking now. I call into this last place, almost, not quite, but almost as many times as I call into the Pad Thai shop. Swadi Cup. Salad guy. Cup. Look at these vibrant colours where the salads are being prepared. Back in the UK, you'd ask for a chicken salad. But here it's the other way around. There's are so many things in Thai language, you find they reverse things. So instead of a chicken salad, you're asking for a salad chicken. Salad guy, guy is chicken, salad is salad. So you find that a lot in Thai language, um, that reversal. I don't know why. So yeah, here it is. And uh, I'll go home now, lay it out on a plate, you can have a look at it. But 50 baht. It's uh, incredible value and you'll see what I mean. And there it is. I told you it was good. 
and laid out on the plate, it looks even better. And I was saying that when Poop does this, it looks like a work of art. Poop's not about at the moment, she's helping her parents, but when I put it on a plate, I don't know, for some reason it looks like I've thrown it there from about five metres away. So what do you get for your money? You get shredded chicken, you get chunks of apple, pearl barley, sweet corn, red cabbage, radish, cucumber, carrot, a few different lettuce leaves, boiled egg, grapes, and tomato. Plus they give you this dressing. I haven't put it on yet because it would have covered up a lot of what you're seeing here. But this dressing is to die for, it really is good. They make it themselves, it's a mayonnaise based dressing and it's got mustard seeds in it and um, I don't know what else, but whatever it is, their secret recipe, it's really, really good. So that's me sorted for lunch. I'll show you a map of the place in case you're in the area and you want to give them a try. Plus I'll put a link down in the description so you can find where they are. But honestly, really worth giving it a go. 50 baht for all of this organic salad. You get so much variety there. Very, very healthy lunch. Okay, I'm going to finish now because I need to tuck into this. So there you go, seven videos in seven days, just giving you a rough guide as to how much you can expect to spend on, on eating here. And when I say expect to spend, that was the bottom end, that was the real tight budget. So the reason that we did that is because there's people asking us how much do you need to live in Thailand? How can you give an answer to something like that? So we thought that we would give the bottom end right down near the bottom of, as to the, the minimum that you'd need to eat out here. And of course, if you've got more of a budget, you spend more. And some people, I don't know if it's just a wind up or if they genuinely don't get it, but like a comment saying, what's the point of coming on holiday to somewhere like that and then worrying about how much you're spending on food? Well, it's, it's irrelevant, totally irrelevant to what the videos were about. But um, I don't know, I suppose it takes all sorts. But that has given people a rough idea, a rough guide, um, and it's those people who are considering coming out here, retiring out here, giving them an idea, building a picture, so they know what to expect. And because of that, Pook and I have decided to expand on it. We're gonna start looking at rental properties um, and budgets on those as well, what you can expect to, to pay to rent a place. And really, we wanna build a complete picture. So anyone who's considering retiring out here or moving out here full time, they know exactly what to expect. Be sure to watch the next video that we put out. Pook and I sat down and spoke in depth about the time that we met. It's 10 years ago, we've just had our 10th anniversary and we decided to sit down. And although we've done it before in, in a video, it was a bit, I don't know, a bit rushed sort of. We were sitting in a restaurant um, and we didn't really think it through. But this time, We've got more experience doing this and we speak a little bit more in depth about how we met up and also talking about some of the pitfalls that some people might avoid, whether you be Thai looking for a Westerner or a Westerner looking for a Thai. Just going through some of the bits and pieces, some of the things that some people trip up on. So be sure to watch that. It's uh, coming out, I think it's on Saturday. Be sure to watch it. And to make sure you don't miss it, if you hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell, you'll get the notifications as and when new videos come out. Thanks very much, and I hope that these videos, these seven videos have been helpful to some of you. Thanks a lot.